very happy to be back. Uh, yeah, I took the train up from, from London uh, to be greeted by friends and, and family in, in the train station. Uh, I'm, going to, I'm going to relax for a bit, catch up on some sleep, go up and see my parents and then get back to work. There's a lot to do in this campaign that's uh, still ongoing. I've been overwhelmed at the, at the response. I went to Beijing because I knew that the, uh, the, med the world's media spotlight was there in Beijing, but the level of support I've had from, from Scotland, from uh, my friends and family, has been amazing, been overwhelming. I was treated very even-handedly. We were fed and watered fine. Went and underwent some tough questioning, but uh, the way in which we were treated was nothing in compared to the way a Tibetan or indeed a Chinese citizen uh, would have been treated had they undertook a similar protest. There's still a lot more to achieve with Tibet. Tibet is still the crackdown is still there. People are still being detained. So obviously, like that. That situation has to be resolved, but this is one step on the way, and like I say, the campaign will continue. There's protests around the world in cities uh, and at Chinese consulates and, uh, and embassies, and I know there's, while no group has published plans uh, for, for uh, protests, I know there's lots more people like me who want to shine a spotlight on the way these games have been used to whitewash human rights abuses in Tibet.